This could be a massacre now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I love the way he flew past. Oh my god. These guys are so fucked. Guys, I'm playing totally accurate battle simulator again. <laughs> I just love using these muskets. <laughs> they always shoot each other. It's so ridiculously stupid. Oh no. Watch this bit. The samurai's gonna go right to his face. <laughs> this guy's like completely boned. Because this guy's gonna shoot him in the back. <laughs> These samurai faces. Oh, I got stabbed in the stomach. What about you? Oh, I got jabbed. Oh, it's happening all along the line. The samurais are taking them down. They haven't taken massive losses either. Those samurais are just going to wade in. Oh my god. <laughs> it happens so quickly when you turn off slow mo. Just like, bleh. I'm going to do it again without any slow mo. Just looking from the line. <laughs> it looks so brutal. And then hack. Hack him in. The trouble is that most of the musketmen actually just shoot each other. Once they have to aim down the lines, that's it. They're totally screwed. Right, let's go for something truly mental. Because um, i got a real thing for Hillary in this game. She's an absolute batshit crazy woman in this. Look, watch this. She's completely nuts. <laughs> Throw those emails, Hillary. Throw them. Although she's going to end up falling off the edge before winning, I think. No, blue victory! I've never actually had Trump win over her. I think maybe they changed it. <laughs> to more accurately simulate what really happened. It's because she can't hit him at that range and she keeps getting knocked back. I feel like if I started them closer that it would be a different story though. Let's start them closer and see what difference it makes. Miscellaneous. Hillary. Boom. Trump. Right up in her face. Start it. No, it didn't really make a lot of difference. <laughs> this is crazy. I love how the email's sticking in. Your hair's epic, Trump. Look at it. Alright, here's a big test. A fuckload of peasants. Against one guy with an M16. This should be pretty interesting, actually, because the M16 is an insane gun in this. This this one guy with an M16 is going to just absolutely wade into him. I don't know if if he's going to be able to kill enough of them, though. He's just like... <laughs> well, from their point of view, it's like, oh my god, can we get close to this guy? BAM! BAM! <laughs> it's insane, can you imagine being in this rush? Trying to get to that guy with the M16. He's just wading through them. Oh my god! One M16, guys. <laughs> One M16, that's all it took. Um, What about if he was up against a big line of headbutters as well? Would they get to him? I feel like they would, they're pretty fast. They're going to take him down, surely. Oh my god, he's like... Yeah, they got him. They got to him. Yeah. That's it, they just need speed. Need speed of land. Okay. What can we do? How about... Mm, I like musket guys. But I wonder if they're better than spear throws. So about 1100 points of, of spear throws. Uh, well, this is Napoleonic, isn't it? 
and about the same here. I don't think this is going to go too well for the musket men. Spear throws just seem to be a bit more. Yeah, a bit more that, really. <laughs> Ow! This poor guy. Wait for it. Oh, my leg! <laughs> He was fine until he caught a spear to the knee. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love that. I love putting muskets against armies of things that generally are inferior but still always manage to win. Like farmers. Farmers are insanely overpowered. Watch this. Farmers are nuts. For about the same amount of pointage. <laughs> Farmer's gonna kick their ass. What's this? You no take our hay. <laughs> Free range my ass. <laughs> Kill their asses. Oh, this poor musket man here is absolutely getting stabbed to shit. Yeah, he's totally dead. Look, he's right up in his bowel. Are there any left? There are. He doesn't know what to do with himself. He got stabbed inside of the head. See what I mean? They hardly lost any blues in that. That's insane. That is insane. But, but, if you put one M16 up against a bunch of farmers, because they're pretty quick and they've got a lot of pickaxes, uh, picks, forks, boop. Hey, look at that, exactly 3,000. Go! It's so visceral. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. It just like hacks through the front lines. You can hear it going into them. Oh god. It looks so painful. That guy got mullered. God, shoot him in the face. <laughs> These poor farmers, all they're doing is protecting their land. Yes, rapid fire. Go on, buddy, it's like a first person shooter. Ah! <laughs> that was amazing. I want to do that again from first person shooter mode. <laughs> it's like a VR game. Shoot them all! This would be a horrendous VR game. Cull the farmers. And you just use this massive M16 to just mow them down. But at this point you'd be going, oh shit, oh shit! <laughs> Blue victory! That's that's horrendous. I don't want to do Scotland anymore, I want to do snow. Um, um, let's see, super boxers? Let's have a super boxing fight in the snow. Bam, 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 bam. Whack. Oose, oose, oose. They got like light gloves. Like lightsabers, but gloves. And their eyes are mental. Look, they're completely batty. Go on, punch. Blue one. And then he kicked him over and stomped on his neck. That's a bit harsh. Right, so that's a five and a half thousand point army. And they're going to go up against ancient Greece, who, who have, who have two chariots. <laughs> this is not going to go well. We have spearmen at the sides, and at the back here, and then we've got a mad amount of shields, up to five and a half thousand points. Yes, that's about right. So this is going to be like an epic battle. This is a slightly more realistic battle than what we'd usually do. Because I just like messing around. But let's go. Oh my god. The chariots are killing their own people. Chariots are by far the worst unit in this game. They don't make any sense. And they die like instantly. It's a mashup. 
It's a huge mashup. I honestly think the Vikings were pretty much bound to win just because just because Greece has chariots. I mean they completely owned them. So if I take out the chariots and replace the chariots with I don't know some more spearmen like another batch of spearmen from like there to there and there to there a little bit more there I mean it's like a load of spearmen there right okay so without the chariots how's this gonna go let's go slow motion for the first bit headbutters just getting in there and then when they're pushing those shield men back <laughs> the mad bastards with a shield and an axe can get right in there spearmen at the far end are totally owning their spear throwers and as we can see here the spearmen pushing the shield men forward but those axe men will just dive straight over the top of those, those shields <laughs> look at them go they're absolutely nuts and they love it they love their job ah it's so brutal he's not even going anywhere look he just wants to do a flip oh dude dude watch out it might be too late for you yeah he's within you <laughs> oh he looks like he sort of pushed him over with his balls Oh, don't put a spear in his balls. What are these two spearmen doing? It's like they just couldn't be bothered. Oh no, he's dead. There's still a fair few axe men coming in. But the spears are... Uh, they are working. Look at this guy. He's literally carrying him. He's like, yes. <laughs> this is what we will do to your children. <laughs> oh no, I think the Vikings have still got it. Those ancient Grecians just they just can't stand up to the barbarity of the Vikings look at this guy he's like a, sh a shield bearer a totem bearer even oh my god it's so brutal Asia so we should be able to get some cool samurai masters going on see samurai masters at the back they're gonna be like leading the fight we got ninja masters going on as well they're not gonna be as numerous I don't think because they're super mental so we get some Twykondo at the front no we've already spent way too much wow okay well let's just let's just equal them in number and just see how it goes that's not gonna go well for the Vikings I don't think it's it's pretty crazy to think that they'd be able to stand up against that many martial artists Look at these guys diving in with their Taekwondo hats on. Taekwondo! Attack! Oh wow, look at the ninja stars, they're going mental. Probably only killing their own men. See that samurai guy? Look, he, he leaps over, cuts one of the Taekwondo's faces up, and then's like, yeah, I'm just going to dive into this axe murderer. I don't know who's going to be better. Oh, the axe went right across that guy's shoulder. Oh, look at this! Those Axemen are nasty bastards. But these Samurai Masters are going to hold their own against the Axemen. I can just feel it. It's <laughs> just diving. It's literally just a diving match now. Look at these ninjas. Ninjas are getting involved. Go ninjas. Go on, get in there. <laughs> no, the, the Samurais did come out on top. And now these guys have got no chance against all these ninja star throwers. It ain't gonna happen. This axe man is gone. Come on, axe man. Can you make one last leap? Nope. They got owned. Like in a pretty big way, actually. I wonder how, how well they would do if they had an even amount. Hmm. Right, so that's about right now. There's not so many samurai masters and ninja masters in this one. I'm just going to see how it turns out rather than going in slow-mo. I love the way these ninjas at the back are just like throwing all the shit. They're like Hillary. 
just with ninja stars instead of emails. And they throw themselves back so far. Yeah, you see, it isn't going as well this time because those samurai masters aren't there to take out all the axe guys. Look at them, though. Those ninja masters are still making short work of them. It's because of the range. Oh, they still won! The ninja masters just completely carried that. Right, okay, so the Vikings lost that one. So who are we going up against? Napoleon? Yeah, why not? Let's get some muskets going on. Lots of muskets at the side, because they kind of need to be up the side. Um, there's not a lot when it comes to Napoleonic. There's, they're all pretty much just muskets. So I'm going to put one of those, three of those <laughs> down there. Then we've got the cannon crews at the back, who are going to be completely batshit mental in this. And I'll put a couple of sides there so they can sort of rein in on the sides. Reining in. But I still don't know how they're going to do against all these ninja throwers and stuff. We we've, we've haven't got that many points left, so we're going to have to go with more musketeers. <laughs> musketeers, okay, that'll have to. The cannons don't do an awful lot at the beginning. Those musket men are getting totally owned. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is that cannibal going? Alright, so we've got Samurais running through the fire because they're totally stupid. Well done, Samurai Masters. Is this, What's this guy doing? Look. He's clearly dead. Whoa, what happened there? <laughs> right, so the cannons are the only problem now, really. I don't know if they're going to be able to take these guys down, though. That one cannon against three Ninja Masters or two Ninja Masters and a Samurai. Oh, is he going to get back up? Oh, oh, you got a Samurai Master and nothing else to contend with. You missed him. That was not a good call. Oh, it could all be over to the Samurai Master. What's he doing? <laughs> He's dancing on a rock instead of... Yeah, right, you do a dance. Slow-mo, bam, right to the face. I don't think he's dead. Try again. Bam! Right to his nuts! He's still not dead. Even with a full-on blow to the balls. Try again. Oh, what's he doing with that guy? Oh, what? You hit him in the sword. And it killed him. That's messed up. <laughs> Guys, I hope you liked this. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will do some more totally accurate battle simulator for you. Thanks again for watching. Stay foxy. Bye-bye.